you know sir talking about kidney i was telling you over the phone also i lost an aunt from kidney problems you told me. i lost a friend who's one year younger to me from kidney problems my cousin sister's husband's both kidneys have failed What? and the person in one person in my team undergoes regular dialysis he's some 38 39 years old so i am amazed to see the kind of kidney problems that people are having these days do you think it is because of lead primarily i'll tell you one incident which i yeah. told you that day when i was talking to you about a young girl uh in a mall yeah. called forum mall in kormangla very close to st john's medical college hospital where i was working one day i went to mall to buy some electronic uh, some part yeah. maybe charger or something i saw one very pretty girl standing i looked at her very attractive girl i went round and round looking at her from different angles she was getting embarrassed why this old man is looking at me like that i was smiling finally she could not control she said uncle what do you want i said you are beautiful thank you uncle she said no 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 dear uh, i asked what is your name she gave me some told me some name i forgot i said um, you are why i am seeing you from different angle not you i am looking at your hair from this side it's purple that side is greenish from that side it's different color you know it has different shades what did you do i knew what she had done she said that she had applied some uh, hair color hair hair dye or something like that very expensive one brand also she told me some l'oreal or some brand then i started talking to her look my dear i know something about lead this contains lead lead can get absorbed in your skin may go to different organs like liver kidney brain and brain it may not go because we cannot further develop brain it is not going to matter but if it goes to kidney it will damage the kidney she said thank you uncle for your gyan i came back some several months later i got a call from emergency medicine and they called me sir uh, there's one end stage renal failure esrd end stage renal disease like what happened probably to your friend i went there this person very familiar face lying on the bed that time she was uh, looking different now she is looking different suddenly she looked at me uncle you are the one who told me in that mall not to dye my hair he did not know what to answer uncle she can i hold your hand i gave my hand i don't want to die uncle bleeding i don't want to die i want to live i said don't worry our people are will do whatever best they can you are on dialysis next day i learned she was no more how i would have felt not only that day i was emotional even today i am emotional how many millions and millions of our daughters and granddaughters are dying do unknowingly damaging themselves makeup materials why makeup if there's a shortage of marks in the school principal will make up teachers will make up shortage of attendance they will make up makeup is whenever there is a shortage but is there a shortage of beauty to anybody everybody is beautiful let them stand in front of the mirror somebody tell me i am not beautiful i am ugly everybody is beautiful god created nature created all of us to look different if all of them were same looking it would have been a boring thing you know <laughs> therefore the makeup materials should not be used actually in my view you know sir in one study speaking of makeup i learned that korma kajal has the highest concentration of lead and pakistani kajal has the highest and pakistani kajal is supposed to be very good i remember growing up in school we used to all love applying pakistani kajal but that has the highest concentration of lead followed by surma kumkum sindoor and henna powders even henna is a problem henna is a plant product it has no lead okay if you use henna yeah your hair will be something like uh, wood color yeah to make your hair a little darker shiny they add lead acetate in that it may go up to even 3.5% lead acetate in okay henna you have seen some very religious muslims yeah 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 they have their dadi orange. what is the color orange ah that is henna pure henna okay okay forget about that when you have you applied that uh, what do you call that uh, mehndi ah mehndi mehndi yeah mehndi is henna yeah i have seen black No, no. It should not become black. It should be reddish, pinkish. 
mainly should be pinkish not black that means no lead if they add lead that becomes black that contains lead we have what is called surma the tie liner you know surma you must have heard about yes, surma yes 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 you might have used surma yes 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 surma is lead and antimony and it is said that surma is good for the eyes apparently that's what we been told the <laughs> seller market man will tell you you look beautiful if you i tell you we don't need these things to project ourselves yeah i was in pakistan i went to pakistan in connection with global warming and lead and things like that. then i interacted with many media people and said this is the problem it is not pakistani mehndi this one eyeliner it's again punjabi well, before independence also it was there but muslims were using it both for men and boys and girls this one even if today small muslim boys you know yeah they look so cute because of this uh, eyeliner they put yeah 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 uh, correct correct then i said i tell you they took action and they have banned surma in pakistan in many places you don't get surma maybe at home if they prepare and use it doesn't they them they are also like you and me you know they want to protect their children yes and, okay uh, but kajal we prepare at home is fine kajal huh? is from a flower uh white color flower what they do the latex of the flower the heat it will become black suit that they use it as kajal there's no problem okay. but kajal what you get in the market it may not be safe if you prepare it at home anything you prepare it at home you will not use toxic substances but whatever you buy they sell it for money and what you buy for money may not be safe henna powders pure henna powder should be orange and they are not a problem make it at home okay you grow on henna tree okay yes so many in up lucknow every house has this if you enjoyed watching this content you can watch the full in depth video on the body to being podcast hosted on shloka youtube channel to continue watching shorter pieces of this content you can subscribe to shloka clips on youtube don't forget to like this video and follow us on spotify pranam